Hey guys, what's up? It's Kath Acro. If you're new to my channel, I make mostly Minecraft videos. Today we're going to be doing an AFK fishing farm tutorial. I posted a video maybe last week on my AFK fishing farm and I did get asked to show exactly how I set that up, so I'll be doing that today. There are other videos out there on how to do this fishing farm. I didn't invent it, but I think everyone explains things a little bit differently, so maybe somebody will find my video helpful. This farm is survival friendly. You'll see I do the whole thing in survival and it's my second one I've built now. It's super easy. The materials are not too expensive. It's a very good farm. By the way, I did try this farm in Bedrock on my Switch and it didn't work. So I'm pretty sure it only works for Legacy Edition. So I'm going to show you now the materials you'll need. This is the bare minimum. You can do pretty much whatever you want with this farm. If you want to decorate it, if you want to add more chests, more uh, hoppers, that's up to you. You'll see there's a lot of uh, space for creativity. At the end, I'll show you guys how I decorated mine. So you're going to need one hopper, one chest. Then you're going to need 12 building blocks. Keep in mind, you might want to pick something that can also be transferred into a slab because you're going to need slabs too and it's just nice if they're matching. So then you're going to need two slabs, one iron door, one water bucket, two tripwire hooks. Ladders is sort of optional but I really recommend it. I use ladders and I love them. One note block, one redstone dust, one string, and one fishing rod of your choice. It doesn't have to be this really cool fishing rod. It can be whichever fishing rod you want. So to start off, you place the slab, Behind the slab, you're gonna place one block. Then on top of that block, you're gonna place another slab. So then one block behind that and one block over, you're just gonna place two blocks, one block to the side of that, and then another block on top. So basically you're gonna be getting this shape. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So one block back and one block over, you build two blocks, one on the right of that, and then one on top. So in the end, you're going to get this sort of, I don't know, antler shape. It looks like a reindeer to me. Now you're going to want to build the hole where the fish is going to go, where you're going to keep your chest and your hopper. So you're just going to go right behind your structure and dig down a couple blocks. This is up to you how big you want to build this area. Um, if you have multiple chests down here, multiple hoppers, you're obviously going to want a big space. But um, I'm just, I just usually do two by three. Uh, that's big enough for me. So once you have your space below, you just dig a little hole, place your ladder, and this is just going to get you in and out really easily. So as you can see there where my hole is. So uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to come behind and you're going to place a temporary block. This can be literally any block because we're just going to break it anyway. Place it right there at the top of the hole and then you're going to place a hopper going into that temporary block. So now you're going to go back down into the hole break that temporary block and now you're going to place a chest. So that is the bare minimum for the storage. You'll see later I'll explain if you want to add more chests and more hoppers I'll explain how to do that. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to take an iron door and place it right there behind the hopper. It doesn't really matter which way it's facing. I'll explain that a little bit more later but as you can see my hinges are on the left. It, it doesn't really matter. It can go either way. So then once you've placed the iron door, your setup should look like this. Okay, so then you're going to take your note block and you're going to place it right behind your iron door uh, so that there is a space between the door and your note block. And also there's a space between the note block and the ground. Then you're going to take a block and you're going to place it beside the door. Then you're going to come up on top and you're gonna crouch and place a block on top of the note block. And then finally, you're gonna place your last block on top of the door. Now we're done with the basic structure. It should look like that. It's pretty simple so far. So there's just a couple steps left. You're gonna take your water bucket. You're gonna place the water. Make sure there's no water like flowing out. It should be contained. So now you're gonna take your tripwire hooks. You're gonna place one on each side, just like I'm doing here. Then you're gonna take your string and you're gonna attach those tripwire hooks. So that's pretty simple. Now you're going to take one redstone dust and you're gonna place it in a line exactly like I'm doing. So you'll know if it works if you run into the string and your redstone lights up and the door opens, you'll know it's working and you did it perfectly. So now we're totally done. As you can see, that was pretty easy. Uh, so now I'll just show you guys quickly how to do the fishing. This is sort of the most difficult part. It's actually aiming the fishing rod so that it works. 
So you're gonna take your fishing rod and aim it in the corner away from the hinges. So as you can see, my hinges here are on the left. So I'm going to be aiming my fishing rod to that right corner, exactly where I have my little X there in the middle of the screen. That's where I'm going to be aiming my fishing rod. So when you're facing your fishing farm, if your hinges are on the right side, you wanna aim your fishing rod to the left top corner. But since mine are on the left, I'm going to be aiming to the top right corner. So now you just pull down your tr left trigger and you'll see this worked perfectly, okay? So you're gonna know because the fishing rod is not bobbing, it's staying in the water. And um, you'll see eventually I'm gonna catch something. So now I'll show you guys what you don't want it to be doing. You don't want it to be uh, bobbing in and out like this, okay? This is wrong. Um, and if it does do this, all you have to do is sort of adjust yourself, okay? So just move over a bit until you get it flat like that. All you're doing is holding down that left trigger. And you'll you'll know it's working pretty much right away because you'll see a fish or you'll see whatever you catch. You'll You'll just see it flash across your screen. So then what people do is they tie an elastic band around their controller. I'll insert a picture here of how I've set up my controller. I literally have the elastic band on it all the time and I just move it back and forth when I'm doing my AFK fishing. I put it over the left trigger and if I'm not, then I just leave it hanging on there and it's fine. It doesn't even bother me at all. But all you have to do is play around with an elastic band and you'll figure out what works best for you as long as it's going over that left trigger. When you're done fishing, you can go down into your hole and you'll see exactly what you have here in your chest. If you think one chest is too small, I personally do. I like to have a double chest underneath. So you just add some double chests. You add another hopper going into those chests. Just make sure it's facing into the chest. And there you go. Now you have a double chest. It's a lot bigger. You have a lot more space for all those beautiful treasures you'll be catching. Now I'll just show you guys how I decorate mine because I think the AFK fishing farm is pretty ugly on its own. So it's nice to just decorate it however you want. So the one thing you want to remember is do not cover that water when you're decorating. The water has to be directly under a light source. So if you cover it, you're never going to catch anything. Of course, you can do it tons of ways. A lot of people I know decorate with glass or with like really nice stone slabs or concrete. Um, I decided to do mine more, you know, natural looking. I love stuff that looks like trees, as you remember from my beacon. So another thing I would recommend is making sure you have a very safe space when you're building this because you will be AFK, so you don't want to get eaten by zombies or anything. Of course, you can do it on peaceful if you so wish. Uh, but I usually just sort of like, I built a fence around or whatever. I make sure I'm like really, really safe. As you see here, I've spammed torches everywhere. Um, especially if you're going to do this AFK fishing for hours, I would suggest just going on peaceful. Um, but if it's like half an hour, an hour, you can just um, make sure you're safe behind a fence of some sort. I love stuff that just looks more naturey. Um, so I've just got some flowers, some grass, and I put a fence around it. The fence is just for show because you can fit through that gap, but um, this is basically what I ended up with. I think it's really cute. I know a lot of people think I decorate with too much stuff, but I really like the way I decorate. So that's how I decided to do my AFK fishing farm. I hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit and I hope it was helpful to at least somebody. If you did find this helpful, please let me know down below because I'm just really curious if this is gonna help out anybody or not. I, I don't know if I should continue doing tutorials or not. I'm not that good at explaining things. So um, yeah, any feedback would really, really help. So now it's time for the shout outs that I do at the end of each video. So the first shout out is for Senor Das Games. Thank you so much for the comment and thank you for saying best channel ever. That's the the highest compliment I could have received. So thank you so much for that. So the next shout out is for Sohim Joshi. Thank you so much for commenting on my videos. I see your name all the time in my comments and I appreciate it so much. I hope you're having a really good day. The next one is for Enderbox97. Thank you so much for the comment. Of course, I'm going to give you a shout out. I love playing with Enderbox97. I used to play with him all the time, but unfortunately, I don't have Xbox Live Gold anymore. But yeah, he's in a couple of my videos. You guys can check him out. So I hope you're having a really good day, Enderbox. So my next shout out is for Frogboy. I really like your name, Frogboy. Um, yeah, really cool name. So thank you so much for the comment. So that's going to be all the shout outs for today. If you do want a shout out in a future video, please leave a comment down below. It might not be in like the next video because sometimes I do record in advance. Um, but I will definitely shout you out in one of my future videos. So I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go and do some AFK fishing now. Bye.